Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Premier Craft Season 4 and today we are here on the server which I'm very excited about and there's something odd that you guys may notice. Yes, I'm on my camera account because I wanted to show you guys a little bit about what is going on here with my jellyfish from a better view. So here we are, this is obviously the jellyfish and things like that. This is basically what my base is looking like right now. Now, previously before the jellyfish was built here, I had a plan about using the land underneath down here where you hear all of the, uh, the horses, the rabbits and things like that. But as you can tell right now, this ladder that goes up into the center of the jellyfish is not in the center of this room. However, the thing that is in the center of the room is this, this down here. We moved the room so that it would uh, have the zombie spawner in the center, which is awesome, right? But we now have the issue that the jellyfish is not centered. I couldn't really make the jellyfish center in the room because it would have made it too far over to the right of the land and would have just been too much of a hassle so instead what we're going to be doing today is figuring out how we can utilize this area down here without getting annoyed by the fact that the ladder is not in the center of the room so that's what we're going to be doing today i am going to get my stuff sorted uh here i am right here just just pondering about life pondering about the chicken in my hand it's wonderful and uh, we're going to somehow make this room, I think, oval shaped so that it works a little bit better. But let me get on with it and I'll show you guys what we come up with in the end. So quickly before I show you guys what I have done, uh, I wanted to just apologise if this video is a little bit short, a little bit choppy, a little bit whatever. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather at the moment. I have, uh, I'm, ju I'm just coughing and sneezing all the time at the moment. So I have to apologise if I don't seem as upbeat in this video. It's not because I'm not, it's just to try and stop myself from coughing. <laughs> I have to uh, speak a little bit less excited, I guess. I don't even know. But uh, I am pretty excited anyway about this because this should work. Now, like I said, I was going to make this floor here oval and I have and it looks great you don't have to ignore the wall design over there I haven't fixed it up yet nor have I done the ceiling but I want to show you guys what it looks like obviously now the horses and rabbits are very happy they've got a lot more room I'm hoping the rabbits aren't falling down there because if they are they're probably gonna go all the way down to the bottom and that will not be very easy to get them back out of I've removed this here because this was just a temporary little idea that I was playing around with I will replace that with uh, with yellow blocks at some point but I decided to try something different. I was only trying it. Right, you gonna go down that hole, rabbit? Please, please don't. Please don't. Uh, I'm gonna squidge in here so that you don't go down there. The rabbits are way smaller than they are uh, in 1.8, so that's just really weird. They would just seem like baby bunnies. But anyway, on this floor here, you may be able to tell that I haven't quite made it oval, but it is a lot more oval than, well, it's not a perfect circle like all the other floors were previously. So, this one I've only dug out three that way rather than six and then this one down here I've made or oh, left as a circle I was basically trying to do this where the circle at the top is an oval well it's an oval at the top and then a smaller oval and then it goes to a circle and this looks great in like an area where you could see the different sizes uh, all together, but I don't think it's working here. I think I'm actually going to make them all the oval at the top, which will mean that this won't be quite in the center. It will have a mean it is still in the center on one axis, on this axis. This is not going to be made into an oval or pushed out that way at all. So it's only going to stretch out further this in this direction. So hopefully that will work out quite nicely. I think it's going to work pretty well and that will mean that I have to get rid of all the chests and designs in here for now but we'll come up with something better because this right here isn't really going with the jellyfish vibe so we'll probably have to change it and maybe even make this area look a bit more sea themed I'm not quite sure about that but let me know what you guys think because it's definitely something that I wouldn't be doing this episode but hopefully in the future well now everything is completely centered this ladder right here goes down so this floor which is an oval this floor which is an oval as well and also we made this floor an oval too which I think looks really nice and I've currently left the area down there as a circle because I quite like the idea that I don't know I'm not quite sure with the ladder like I don't really like the ladder coming down necessarily right there but 
I like this little area down here is like a circle and we've got this like area here which could all be black. Although the idea with this room was that it was going to be super super dark and obviously things don't spawn on glass. So down there, yeah, the zombies would only spawn down there basically. Uh, where it would still be dark but there would be spawnable blocks on the floor. So that's just a little bit of a side note. Just to kind of let you guys know exactly what my base is going to be more than the, just the jellyfish because I feel like I haven't really explained a whole bunch uh, with the whole area down there. Well, mostly because I don't really have any solid ideas for it just yet. But I have, as you can tell, probably um, lit up the area around the uh, ladder upwards because, yeah, I may or may not have come up that ladder and there had been a uh, creeper right there. I turn around every time I come out this ladder to look up to make sure there's no zombies or anything falling down behind me and then chasing me but I'm so glad, so glad that I did that time because there was in fact a creeper. Now the only place a creeper should come from is over there if it does because everything around here should be too high although here right here right now is very very dark so gonna put a torch there temporarily I will have to make sure and um, go around yet again and make sure everything is too high and everything's lit up right because you know the tentacles kind of ended up covering quite a few of these ground lights so hopefully everything should be pretty spawn proof moving on to the main task we have today and that is starting to work on this area around here now I'm not really gonna be adding the mushrooms just yet and maybe I'll add one or two if we have time again I don't know if I have too much time today um, but we need to start adding a floor design and yeah again there was a really really cool idea which was featured in the photos I received of, of, of a very similar jellyfish well no baby no please no from now oh from epic dang it please I'm trying to explain stuff right now I'm on fire I'm on fire and you made me get rid of oh, dude I was trying to yeah oh, god Blame me, so distracting. Ah, oh, baby, baby zombies. Anyway, um, basically, the idea is that there's glowstone or a lighting block underneath a half slab, which I really, really like. Problem is, that looks really, really awesome in the dark, and I don't know if these torches and lighting along the tentacles and stuff will help that, but I do want to keep everything spawn-proof here, which is very, very difficult. And I don't really want to have to put half slabs on this or anything like that, because obviously that's just gonna, gonna ruin the place, right? So... I don't know how the lighting's gonna work. We're gonna try something out. But anyway, let me try and still do some stuff with some half slabs. Let's see if it is gonna work. The only thing I'm worried about is that actually, you know what, this floor here isn't quite the right height. So I might have to add some blocks under here just so we can start placing in some lighting. And it won't really matter. We can always use half slabs in the ceiling down there. And also, I should probably note that that is a temporary area to store horses and stuff. Not really permanent, so. Maybe one of those rooms will be in the future. I don't know. We need a good way of getting them out of there to ride, though. And also the bunnies. I have no idea. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll sort something out with those guys. They're just too adorable to not have. So we'll do something with them. Any ideas, let me know. Maybe we'll just, like, I don't know, deliver them to everybody. I don't know. We're going to set up a rabbit shop at some point, though. So that'll be... That'll be pretty cool. So as you can see here, <laughs> I made a little bit of a mess. I forgot that... This technically works and could have worked probably better. What is going on here? Hello? Blocks? Are you okay? Would you like to be picked up? <laughs> They're just freaking out. I worked out that I don't know why I dug down to then add some of these when I could have technically added them here at that level, which would have made quite a lot more sense, just saying. So I made a bit of a mistake, but as it's night time, we can kind of see... Oh no, we can't see because I've got these lights. I don't know why... Oh god. Okay, let me let me cover some of these lights up here because I'm an idiot. I forget how things work apparently today. My brain's not working. So, let's cover up all of this stuff. And then this one over here as well. Fully. And basically, yeah, you guys can see that there is a glow coming from underneath these. This is only really going to work if it's night, like, fully dark down here, isn't it? Hmm. It's going to be a bit of an issue, that. Not sure how that's going to work. I guess we'll have to try and figure it out. But, basically, the idea is that we have half subs all around the center of this. And then a little pathway coming forward. Possibly going elsewhere as well if we need to staircase any which way uh, off the hill, I guess. 
but I'm not really sure. Basically, I need to now change this. Uh, it's not in the right place at all. But, but the idea was that there's going to be lighting underneath. I need to clear out a whole bunch more clay as well. You'll see that there are gaps under here. Here we go. Uh, where the light obviously kind of reaches around here and lights up those all those blocks in an area. So I'm going to clear out a whole bunch more, I think. Going to get rid of these completely. And technically, I can just place some glowstone on this level. And the reason I'm using glowstone is just because I'm, I'm just lazy. Uh, I don't want, didn't want to have to place blocks down uh, on a level underneath this so I could place those. So I'm using the glowstone that I do have. I do have a little bit of glowstone. We don't have a, have a huge amount, but that's not too much of a problem. So if we can start covering up this, we should be able to hopefully get a bit of a feel for what it's going to look like, although not until everything is then covered underneath, so mm, might have to work on that a little bit, but everything's a bit glitchy, there are quite a lot of invisible blocks at the moment as well, which are not helping, but hopefully we can make this look somewhat good, it needs some tweaking and some design work, so BRB. By the sounds of it, I've got a little bit of a friend, hey friend, how you doing, you good? Oh, you can be way right there. That's very nice of you. No, please don't come for me. So I've been playing around with this for a little bit. I even hopped into a creative world and tried some different ideas out and decided that, you know what? This, this design right here isn't really for me. It might work in some places, but obviously I need things spawn proof. And this isn't going to help. This isn't, this isn't going to look good. The whole lighting effect thing would be great, but it would be great if the whole floor was the same basically so I'm not gonna be ripping this all out yet again obviously because you know I like giving myself more work than I need because you know me guys I just <laughs> too much too much too much too many ideas and too many too many things to do and try and uh, just ba base basically I, I made a mistake but that's fine uh, so we tried something out that was okay I mean it's good to try stuff out and usually I try everything out in just creative mode first and then work out what kind of things are maybe a good idea to try in the world itself but this time I think I got it a bit wrong and decided that you know what it didn't really matter if it was too dark but then it does matter if it's too dark because we're gonna get a lot of issues with mobs if we do something like that so I'm gonna quickly replace these because I got rid of them uh, and replaced them with wood so that we could kind of get a bit of a merge going with that. Do I just need to have them there as well? I think they, they were missing. I think I must have done that. But now, and now I've got glowstone and jack-o'-lanterns there either way. At least I do have a silk touch pick on me, so at least I can pick these back up again. But now what I want to do, <laughs> which is going to be a bit of a problem because it does mean I have to go AFK for a little while. Or at least, like, leave myself on here, AFK. We have to basically wait for grass to grow. Because now, since I've used path blocks... Well, since I started doing path blocks uh, at the front here, like everywhere else. Um, I think path blocks might look cool here as well. But obviously, with path blocks, they're a little bit of a nuisance. In that you have to actually have grass. And not dirt. You can't just make them out of dirt, apparently. Because... That'd be too easy. Oh, we actually need to put um, more leaves in there. I decided that I got rid of the leaves, and now I need more leaves. I hope I have some leaves. I think I think I do. I think I do because obviously, as you guys may or may not know, someone may or may not have stolen my saplings. So <laughs> we might have to get those back as well. I think I know where they might be. So that's that's something at least. Did I remove? Huh, where are the lights? Are there any more lights? Did I cover some over? Oh, that would be a nightmare if I did. I'll have to work out where they are from underneath or something. But I'm going to let all the grass grow. Uh, it'll probably take like 10 minutes or so probably. So I'm going to go make a cup of tea, which sounds like a brilliant idea. And uh, then we're going to come back and see what hopefully path blocks look like, which I think they're going to look better. I'll be honest, I think they might look better. So hopefully that will work, and then we can maybe start thinking about how, we, how, how we're making this thing look wild. And uh, also, guys, yeah, I did make everything kind of go further down the mountain a little bit with the grass. So hopefully that will look cool, needs to look quite wild, and yeah, hopefully it'll work. So please, grass, grow as quickly as you can, because I'm not going to be waiting around forever, okay? I'm going to hide down here in my hovel, because the only place that is pretty much safe. So this is already looking way better. I need to add a few more bits of grass and stuff. I have been kind of adding them here and there. Why not just, just some more like long pieces mostly, just kind of making it look a little bit more overgrown I guess. But I, as you may be able to tell I built a mushroom over here 
It is... I think it looks pretty cool. I'll be honest. I do think it looks quite cool. However, I don't know if it's quite in the right place or quite the right colour. Now, I like the quartz for the bottom. Don't get me wrong, I think that is great. I think this blue on here, however, is too, too similar to that. But I didn't really want to go with the other colours I chose. Like, originally, I was going to go with red. Red might be a bit much, and also in that might be too much. So then I was going to go with red clay. And that's too similar to the pink. Like, I don't really like those two colours together, so that's not really an option. Then I was like, let's go with lapis. But then, obviously, well, lapis is like a weird texture. And doesn't look that great in big piles of it. Um, and then I did think yellow yellow and orange. But then orange doesn't look too great with the, with the tentacle colour again. So, mm, the only thing about this mushroom right here that I'm not sure about is the colour of it. Now, I was going to have bigger mushrooms. Like, I had a design that I'd made. Uh, but the mushroom was too big. So, I did a little bit of searching. And I found something that was very, very similar to this top bit here if not quite accurate to it. Um, because basically the, the, the hard bit about a mushroom is the is this bit. Because obviously it's at an angle. Like I didn't want just a mushroom that is very similar to the jellyfish, like standing upright. I wanted it to be sideways. And then it didn't really have a stalk. So I just like messed around with some blocks and things. And I knew that I wanted to use quartz. So I just kind of did it and made it look pretty good. I mean... From down there, maybe it doesn't look so great, but from here, it just is perfect, pretty much. And then uh, I was actually collecting some mushroom blocks, and I thought it looked pretty cool inside, uh, rather than having the dough, which I think was originally in the in the mushroom design idea. So I don't know. Right from right here, it probably isn't in the best spot. That that the <laughs> the, the the tentacle does get in a little bit in the way, which is the only problem. Uh, but mostly, I think it's the nighttime that it'll look good. So I'm gonna wait till night time, maybe try and build another one whilst we're waiting. Probably at a different angle. I'm gonna go with that design and see if I can build one at a different angle. Although, what kind of sucks about that right now is that we don't have... Like that, that bit on the left looks very, very flat. So I don't know if we need to add a bit more depth there, perhaps a couple more blocks or something. This bit a little bit down here. Like this bit really, really flat here. So I could add three further down, but I think it's gonna be too much, but oh god, uh, I'm gonna try some stuff. I'll be back in a bit. We'll wait till night time at least, and then hopefully we're pretty good to go. I should probably clear up my inventory as well because it is getting full. So I've been a little bit of a busy bee, and I've made four mushrooms in total, all pretty much the same design. This one's a bit of a wonky one, which I quite like actually, because I did this technically the wrong way around, but. I think it looks good. I think it looks really, really good. So, I'm basically now bringing down the grass to its level because originally this little platform here was just kind of there and I thought, wait, have I got loads and loads of coarse dirt? No, wait. Oh no, I thought I bought two stacks of dirt and then one stack of coarse dirt. Oh no, I messed up. I messed up. Hopefully we're good though with this amount of normal dirt. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. But it should turn into grass because there was loads and loads of grass up here so we should be okay. Uh, anyway, but anyway, so um, I was going to actually finish these off completely uh, by gathering food some more of these. I don't really have that many more. I have nine. And what I've been doing is just placing them inside, just covering up the, the clay because the clay is not very pretty. It doesn't look very much like a mushroom interior. So that's what I've been doing. But as you can tell, I've run out of that because I did see if the guys would let me, you know, maybe um, maybe not sleep for a second and, and that didn't happen. Dang it, Etho! No, I'm joking. <laughs> Hashtag blame Etho. No, no, no. We, we already have enough blames for everyone else. It's fine. We don't need to blame Etho as well. But yes, this is what they look like completely. Do we reckon we can make this jump? Whoop! I think we can. That was pretty awesome. So yeah, we've got this little mushroom down here. A uh, nice yellow and orange one. And then, yes, I've changed them to green and then the yellow and orange. Um... I think they look really, really nice, and uh, when the vines grow a little bit, it gets a little bit crazier. Let's actually have a look at it from over here. I haven't... I only did that when I had two mushrooms on there, so... Yeah, this side looks good. You can only technically see two mushrooms, nearly three. Looks cool, looks cool. Maybe I'll have some leaves draped on top of the mushrooms as well, just to bring out this leaf, leafy colour here, because otherwise it's... 
it's not so so great and then and then we should probably actually head over there as well let's actually head towards Cub's base a little bit because I know that he's been walking back and forth and kind of looking over towards mine and, and his own base and I just hope it doesn't look too bad I don't <laughs> I just don't know what it looks like actually from down where he is so maybe we should go do that but pretty happy with it we're gonna add a whole bunch more um trees and things like that I think underneath it and actually just fill it in and have it like when you actually get when you look at it from far afar like it is a little bit hidden not too much but then when you go underneath it feels like you're cocooned in this, li this little shape of uh, like a little cocoon yeah I guess a little co co cocoon a little umbrella down here the mushrooms don't look as good which is a bit of a shame Hmm, I'm thinking that from down, like down here, what would be nice if you could see the grass kind of being all wibbly wobbly like the pink pink glass is around the jellyfish. If it, if a wibbly wobbly it, uh, wibbly wobbly it, that's that's a technical term, uh, up and down a little bit, we should get quite a nice feel. Hopefully with that. The only thing is obviously your grass you can't really see from the side anyway. So don't know if it's quite visible, but hey, whatever. But uh, soon enough, we'll actually have our new texture pack going. And by new texture pack, I mean our old texture pack. But it's been like, what? Dude, it's you. You nearly killed me, cub. Thanks. Nearly kill me. <laughs> Just because you've got pro armor on, man, doesn't mean that I do. Mine hasn't even got mending on. Okay. I was just making sure that my base didn't look too bad from your base. But fine, now I'm going to make it super ugly. I'm going to write cub smells on the side there. Then how are you going to like that then, cub? In fact, I'm probably going to do that because then I, w I won't see it from my base. My base will be fine. You just Your base is going to just smell like you. You like the mushrooms. Okay, maybe your base doesn't smell, but I'm still gonna run it right out there. I'm I'm about five years old apparently, but hey, whatever. He did shoot me. Is that that's like the fifth time he shot me? Like I, I'm honest, I just <laughs> I don't usually catch it on camera very often, but yeah. What a butt. What a but. how how dare he? What is he doing? Coming up here now? Bring it, bring it, Cub. I'll 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 fight you, man. I will fight you with my with my right under geared stuff. What's he doing? He's coming over. Is he going to chuck a chicken in my face? If you do, I'm going to hit you with an axe. <laughs> yeah, don't don't look at... No, just don't look at... Don't look at this. It's uh, it's something. It's an experiment gone wrong. It's fine. I kind of love it, dude. I, can't, I think my base is fun. And I think that that is what I want. This kind of spawn base area to signify, you know, I want it to be fun and different than anyone else's, you know, and I think I've definitely captured that. Oh god, it's very pink and it's not quite fluffy, but hey, you know, next time maybe maybe season five we'll do a unicorn. Who knows? Who no, I'm definitely not gonna do unicorns, so I was gonna remember that and then be like, Floss, make a un No, fine. Anyway, that is totally gonna be it for my episode. I'm gonna leave Cub up there doing his thing. We're gonna stare at him while he comes down. And he's gonna be very, very confused as to why. He's creeping up on me. He's creeping up on me. It's fine. But anyway, from me and Cub today, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video too if you did enjoy the episode. And let me know if you want me to write Cub smells on the side of my mountain. I feel like that's definitely a thing for a live stream. But anyway, that's it, guys. I'm gonna catch you guys later. I just could do this all day, just like troll Cub. I'm not even gonna. I'm actually gonna stop recording and then like, um, what? I'm confused. But yeah, I'm going to carry on doing this <laughs> when I start recording. But that's it, guys. Catch you later. And, um, oh, uh, XP's. Okay. Good to know. Thanks, Cub. See you guys. You didn't know that otherwise. I'll catch you next time. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.